So I've done the box section. This is where I'm thinking about putting it. I was actually going to have this section here under there, but then I watched the video on how to remove the um, the tray from the ute, and there's actually some mount points here and there, so I'll put them them back in their original positions, and I think it should still be flush underneath there. So all I've got to do now, I can't weld the A-frame like this because otherwise I've got to pull out the back and it won't fit because of the drawbar. But um, I'm just trying to size it up to see how far out forward it's going to be, and if it's if it needs me to um. I can still push, bring this forward another two and a half, three inches. Uh, 100 mil, four inches forward. So I can bring the drawbar four inches forward if I want. And then just have this mounted to these bolts. But, um, yeah. And welds aren't too bad. If you look inside the tubing, you can see that there's some penetration there, so I'm happy with that. So, just trying to figure out. I'm going to measure from, say, here to the front. In front of here. Then compare it to my dad's trailer. And might go off and measure someone else's just for third comparison my dad's is really good for reversing so um I, I'd, I'd reverse this all the way to hamilton it's that easy to reverse this trailer it's excellent so if i can replicate the um the geometry of this trailer here and integrate it into here it'll be one very nice trailer to maneuver around so So yeah. yeah, things twisted around inside there, but I can fix that. But yeah, no, I don't know what the time is. Hang on, I'll not this. That's getting my Google bits and pieces thick off. Um, Six fifty-one. So it probably took me an hour or two to weld all four sides of the tubing so 4, 8, 16 32 32 welds Sixteen. Sixteen welds but um yeah now it's coming together very very nicely uh, it's going to have to kind of back burner for a little bit so I can save up and get some brackets for it, but it's starting to look very nice. Hello, Jacob. Hi. Jacob's gone inside. So, um, yeah, just have to measure it. I'll mark it, take it out, and then set it up on the floor. And I might have to raise the box frame to get it to be square, but set it all up, weld it in. So, so yeah, it looks pretty straight, but I still have to measure it. So, this is the tub of a 2008. XG Falcon Ute in steel blue. It's not an XR, but it's I think it's a Falcon, but it doesn't have the Falcon badging. And there's the the tops for here. And it looks very flimsy and everything like that inside. And it probably is. But it's covered up by the the bed liner, which is just a plastic liner that sits inside there so matching color to my car got this trailer here 
So I'm using the the axle might have to modify the bearing hubs or swap the, the wheel hubs over. Um, the right stud pattern but the centre bearing is too big to fit the factory mag wheels and I'd rather have my 18s than 13s especially since the um, height difference is going to make a hell of a lot for stability and everything and um, so axle you've got the springs so if you get new spring hangers and the um, what do they call it the square u-bolts so this is my project this is my CJ Chrysler by Chrysler that's taken too long to be here yeah. it's a V8 one there so 6P41, 6 is a V8, P's premium, 41 is a sedan. And it's number 3222. Yeah, so with the options that it had originally, it had the 360 D32 centre console, or C51, I don't know what that is. H51 is um, air conditioning. And P31 is power windows. Um, C would be the interior, so it might have had the um, brocade upholstery. Uh, so you can see this uh, CJ 6P41 EE08. So that's the date of manufacture there. Doesn't have one on the other side though. Then, um, yeah, L1. I'm not sure, I think that might be parchment. But yeah. So I still gotta take the K frame out of this and then K frame and diff and send it. Get this going. It's beautiful. It's not green. And um yeah, so yeah, so 135 meg doing, doing the job for me. So, yeah, thanks for watching and chat to you guys later.